Welcome back and today we're gonna be talking about ID Invaded episode 13 and this is the finale for this anime so like always let's just jump into it So being the finale of this season for this anime again we don't know if it's getting like a season uh, two or not but uh, as far as the finale, this episode, uh, I liked it. It wasn't bad, but I felt like it was kind of anticlimactic. At least how they took John Walker out, like the way they, 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 you know, tricked him and all that. I expected a lot more because, you know, they've been building up John Walker as like the top dog of like all the murderers, all the criminals. Like, you know, somebody that's been getting away from being caught for years and years. You know, he's been the mastermind behind all of this and the way they kind of tricked them at least to me felt not that good anticlimactic like kind of i would say rushed maybe i don't know but at least to me it didn't feel that great but the, the episode opened out really really weird like with all those people having their nightmares and they're being hunted by like people like that are like, like cats and there's like a huge baby and you know john walker was saying that this baby's probably, you know, even before he became a murderer, he probably was traumatized by something as, as a child or something. Because it was like, it was it was really disturbing and, and really weird the way they opened it. And I really liked it. I liked that whole aspect of the way they opened it with all the weird stuff killing all these people. And uh, and, and we see then Sakaido and Handa Moshi come in and try to fight John Walker. And the fight scene looked great. Everything looked good. And, you know... But it's what came after, right? The way they tricked them, right? Because they took them to Fukada's ID well. Now, if you remember, uh, in the, back in episode one, when they were dealing with the uh, perforator, uh, Sokaido had his limbs kind of like, you know, cut up, and but he could still use them. So that's what they decided to uh, use uh, against John Walker to trap him in, inside the, the little seat that he was in, the little Narusane or whatever it's called. The machine that you know makes people go into the ID wells. So uh, Fukada has set it all up for you know them to land there, I guess, and lure John Walker to sit down in the machine, and then using the the limb that's not you know attached to Sakaido, they were gonna you know pin him down and then hit the eject button. Now while that was a great plan, and I'm pretty sure you know John Walker didn't see it coming. I figured, man, you know, for somebody that's supposed to be a brilliant detective, for somebody that's you know this smart and plan this whole thing out you would think you would think he would know better right I, I, at least i think he will know better especially after like they kind of like you know he was about to get up and they're like oh no no and, you know like I, I thought you said you were gonna sit down and talk to us at that point i feel like him being a brilliant detective and and somebody that actually came up with this whole plan you know this whole master mind plan to like control everybody and you know get everybody to kill seven people and get arrested and you know this whole complex plan you would think he was being lured into a trap now but you know he didn't see it coming so he got caught and you know now he's gone now i really didn't understand exactly what happened with him because when they hit the eject button it looks like he went back into like the first ID role, like his actual real ID role, right before the point, like that he killed, you know, himself. And, you know, we see Sakaido actually pin him down and say that that's John Walker. But really, that didn't happen in the real life. Because at the end of the episode, we get that nice closure where everybody wakes up and, you know, that dude is dead. John, you know, John Walker, the, the chief of, of the Kura organization, that dude is dead. He, now, he's not inside the ID world that he wanted to be in, but that dude is dead, but they took care of him. Everything is fine and dandy. Now, the biggest thing of this episode was Momoki. The way he tried to sacrifice himself to go in there and, you know, talk to Asukai and rescue Asukai, really, it's really, I thought it was really touching because, man, that dude went through hell to get in there, okay? Because we see that the suit that he's in, it has like, all these different mechanics to you know try to make him last longer so he doesn't die or at least doesn't go into that coma where everybody else is in that right so they're pumping adrenaline they're giving him you know that shock thing so his heart starts pumping again because he actually did die but they were able to bring him back with that shock thing but man you gotta think that dude went through a lot just to get to her and then even when he got to her and he pulled that gun out i was like is he really gonna kill her like 
that seems kind of out of character for Momoki, right? He's always trying to do the right thing. And nope, long and behold, he did not try to kill her. I guess he used that as an uh, intimidation tactic or, or to show her that he really, you know, just had it just for show because it didn't have any bullets in there. So they came into that conclusion that the only way to really save everybody is for her to go back into like the pool of water or whatever it is. Pretty much her going back to sleep so everybody else can wake up. Now, being that she actually, you know, complied with this and it, it was kind of touching whenever Sakaido and, and, you know, her kind of met in like that dream world and Sakaido was like, yo, this is the first time I see you alive. That was really touching. I, I really like that part. But when everybody you know is supposed to wake up we see that a lot of people don't wake up fukada being one of them and it's kind of you know i guess if you die inside the the id well or the dream world that she sent everybody into you're gonna be comatose and you're not gonna be coming back now i think this is gonna open up you know a future for season two if they ever do decide to make it because one thing i want to bring up that kind of intrigued me a little bit is the doctor, the doctor that was doing all the experiments on Asukai and everything about Asukai and created the whole machine and everything. When the chief came to, you know, kidnap Asukai in the hospital and he was wearing that headgear, right? We see that the doctor is behind him. So he is involved in this in some way. He knows about this. He probably knew what the chief, you know, John Walker was gonna do with Asukai. He had to know, because why else would he help him, right? He had to know, so I think he's part of this. And I'm kind of surprised that they're not going after him yet. Or maybe they are, maybe they're saving it for season two if they decide to make one. But we see that now both Sakaido and Hadamoshi, they're both kind of working together to solve crimes and all that, and testing out new ID wells, which is all fine and dandy. But, you know, we got a nice closure to this episode. We got, you know, we defeated the villain. Asuka is back to sleep. And we see that Momoki promised her that he's going to save her. He's going to find somebody, some way to save her because it's really not fair to her, right? Just because bad people decided to use her in an evil way, it's, it's gotten to the point where she's getting bad dreams from people from other countries. So, you know, she can't just go into isolation and be free of it. No, it's, it's gotten to the point where the only way to save her is either, you know, she's in that pool for right now, so she doesn't, you know, make the whole country go into a freaking coma. Or, you know, somebody has to come in like a doctor, and I'm probably guessing they're going to go get the doctor that actually started this whole thing, because he's the most experienced, the one that knows the most, and they're probably not going to find him. But I'm guessing that's the only person that's going to be able to help right now, because if it feels kind of sad really that she's gonna have to live through this now as far as season two i hope we get one because i definitely enjoyed this episode except for the last episode which i did enjoy i just thought it was kind of anticlimactic it wasn't like a big twist that i was expecting because every episode before this was getting better way better and better and better i guess at this point it was too good and the, and the hype was too high to live up to expectations but I still love the episode and you know it wasn't like freaking some other animes where the ending is just OMG you know what I mean but this one definitely great can wait for season two now as what's gonna replace my videos for for this anime on, on Sundays I, I don't know yet because we're gonna have about what like two weeks two weeks of uh of downtime before uh, spring 2020 starts so I think what I'm gonna do is either go through animes that I have not watched from winter 2020, kind of like binge watch them and give my, my, my opinion on them from like, you know, like maybe four or five episodes at a time. Enough to where whenever I get done with those, pretty much another Sunday anime for winter, uh, I mean spring 2020 is replacing that, that video. Cause I definitely wanna keep making videos every day like I've been doing except on Tuesday. Tuesday's kind of like the, the one day that I kind of try to create a schedule or whatever. But that's gonna be it now. I know Friday, this Friday, where you know Darwin's game, which great anime and great ending, and I hope we get a season two for that as well. Uh, this Friday, the video that I'm gonna replace with that is gonna be me going over all the animes that are gonna be starting in winter 2020 and and see what my schedule is gonna be like. So if you see that video, pretty much you're gonna know exactly what animes I'm gonna be talking about. You know, Monday and then Wednesday all the way till Sunday. And we're gonna see which ones you're interested in, right? You're gonna, you, hopefully we got something coming in there and you'll, you'll tell me which ones you're more excited about and, and we'll go from there. But that's the plan for right now. I gotta find a new anime to kind of give my, my opinion and talk about for next Sunday. But like always, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next episode.